Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. All right, so let's get into this for Gemini spirits and just guys going on for Gemini in love. Gemini, if you like this reading um, or resonate with the reading, please consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more readings from me. I'd love to have you. What's going on for Gemini in this connection this time? Okay, we got love letter, message, confession, response. A message is on its way. Okay, what else? So someone has something to tell you here. Or you could be responding to a message that someone sends you. What else for Gemini? Wishing well. Wish, desire, request. Your wish is being granted. Hmm. Okay. So I think you really wanted to hear from this person or hear this message. What else for Gemini? What's going on in their connection? What's going on in their connection? For Gemini, what's going on for Gemini's? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Gemini's favorite phrase, divine timing, especially on my channel. All right, so let's see what we have here with the tarot, what's going on here. Spirit, tell me more about what's going on for Gemini in love. What's going on in this connection? what's going on here for you Gemini and this other person so this could be um, a mix of both of your energies Queen of Cups the chariot cancer energy nine of wands four of swords so not much has happened here. I feel there hasn't been a lot of movement here. Bottom of the deck, six of swords. Interesting. Okay, so some of some some of you are dealing with someone that's gonna visit you, like come visit you. Um with the chariot and the six of swords. Cancer energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a water sign, but more than anything, I'm getting like this is a very emotional connection. Um Nine of Wands, it hasn't always been easy. Um, I almost feel like you've been waiting for this with this Nine of Wands. Like you've been holding on, even though not much has been happening or there hasn't been communication. Just a lot of like thinking. Why, why is the uh, Four of Swords here? There's the Four of Swords here. Eight of Pentacles. So someone's kind of been working on something else or something has been taking some time. Five of Cups. The world at the bottom of the deck. Wow, so the past and the future. That's what I'm thinking here with the world. And this Five of Cups, it's like someone's thinking of the past as they plan for their future. Queen of Swords, there you are, Gemini. I feel like someone maybe has made some regrets, maybe they've healed from this, have been working on themselves, working on whatever they need to work on to make something happen here. Tell me about the Chariot. Tell me about the Chariot. The lovers, wow, Gemini, you again. 
Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like someone's coming to visit you, to coming towards you. I'm getting that energy. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The wheel, yep. So, Gemini, <laughs> the wheel and the world look very similar in this deck. Um, but this is the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's been waiting for an opportunity or it just hasn't been the right time. They've held on even though, and I feel like they've held on for a while and I think this might be you, but this could also be your person. Um, this could be, you know, divine timing at play. I know, I know, but that's just, I mean, this is what I'm getting. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. It's like you've been, you've, you've really like um, held a candle, like I'm hearing that phrase. Or like um, you've really held someone in your heart all this time, or they have. And the world, yeah, look at this. Both of them, and they both look very similar, like I was telling you in this deck. They look almost identical. Cycles closing, ending. Um, the wheel is turning in this connection at this time. Okay, so let's get some insight into you and this person's energy. So I'm going to have um, a tarot deck for you and a tarot deck for your person. But first, I'm going to start with some oracle decks here. I'll start with my secret moon. I'll have my decks as long um, my decks along with all the other decks that I use listed in the description box. Okay, tell me more about Gemini and this other person spirit. Give us some insight into. Gemini and this other person. What is Gemini's energy? Let's start with you, Gemini. What is Gemini's energy? I have a choice to make. Okay. What is this person's energy that Gemini is dealing with? What is this person's energy? It's all my fault. Oh, okay. Now yeah, my cards are flying. Okay. Interesting. What's this that fell? Judgment. Interesting. <laughs> okay. It's all my fault. And I have a choice to make. Okay. We'll get some more insight. Oh my God. Look at that. That's the biggest mosquito I've ever seen. Okay. Let me focus. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sometimes I leave the back door open for my two dogs to go out and like mosquitoes come in and we love animals here, even even the pesky ones. So anyways, okay. Let me get some other um oracles here. Picked up the hidden truth oracle recently, so let's give it a whirl. Tell me more for Gemini and this other person. Tell me more. start with you Gemini tell me about Gemini What's going on with Gemini's energy I am grateful for the spiritual lesson okay so what I'm getting is there's some sort of history that you have with this person for you to have a lesson involved here and it goes with this theme of waiting you know holding someone in your heart all this time, waiting for someone. Tell me about Gemini's person. Okay, we have I love you. Yeah, there's feelings here. What's this? I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, because it's all their fault. They did something here. Okay. Okay, so... So many energies that I'm already picking up here that I'm just kind of like, this is going to be a convoluted <laughs> mess, but we'll, we're going to roll with it. We're going to keep going. Okay, can I get one more for Gemini and this other person? Can I get one more spirit for Gemini, please? So you, you must have grown or learned from whatever happened with this person. I feel like it affected you or changed you. Peacock, okay. So you recognize your value here. The peacock is someone that is not just physically 
attractive, but they have a good heart. They're they're emotionally or not emotionally, but their inner beauty is also present. You know, I feel like you've blossomed. Okay, tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about this other person. Shark. Okay, so yes, the elephant in the room. There's there's something this person needs to address and they feel like they need to do this before it's too late. The firefly at the bottom of the deck. The firefly is almost like having this spark of energy, this burst of energy and needing to kind of take the opportunity, right? Almost like when the door opens, they need to rush right through it because it might not be open forever. I love you. I'm afraid to contact you. It's all my fault in the shark. So this makes a lot of sense, um, your person's energy here. Where can I put this? I feel like I don't have any room. I'm going to put it back here somewhere. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. So let's jump into the tarot for both of you, Gemini. I'm going to use this deck for you. We'll start with your energies here. Okay, spirits, angels, guys. What can you tell me about Gemini's energy? And of course, Gemini, you can flip these roles if they resonate more. So even though I'm saying this is you and this is your person, you can flip them. Take it as it resonates for you. Tell me about Gemini's energy. Tell me about Gemini's energy, please. Gemini's energy. Ten of coin. Two of coin. Okay, so you are making a decision here. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like when this person writes you... It's almost like you're going to decide whether to meet up with them or respond. Maybe your initial thought is, you know, excitement, but I feel like you're going to, yeah, Page of Cups. When this message comes in, some of you, for whatever reason, it's going to be different for all of you, um, are not going to, are going to have to decide, I guess, to really do this talk to this person, open this the lines of communication. I feel like this is something that you need to decide, you know, this could be an apology coming in as well. Someone could be apologizing because this I have I it's all my fault here. Tell me about the 10 of coin though. What's this about? Why is the 10 of coin here? 3 of coin. Okay. Why is the Ten of Coin? I see two messages here. King of Coin. Okay, some of you are dealing with someone who's already in a long-term commitment. And there's a third party. Tell us all this time. Okay, but I feel, I also see here that you're doing well for yourself. Um, you have a lot going on for yourself here. You're, you're good. You have, you're at peace in some way. Um, and this is kind of like... A possible interruption to that. Um, also, if this person is married or in a long-term commitment, if there is some sort of third-party energy, then it's not so easy as just talking to this person because there's all these other factors. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Justice. Yeah, this is someone wanting to make things right. Libra energy here. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Nine of Coin. Interesting. Page of Coin at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, yeah, someone has held on to you this whole time. Held on, or you've held on to this possibility of an offer coming in. I see it both ways. Um... I feel like this is someone telling you that, that they're single or free or that they, they see you doing well. They admire you. They might even compliment you. Tell me about this two of coin. 
page of coin. Yeah, this is you debating about this offer, this expression of love, this message, this confession, this apology. Fill in the blank with the Knight of Cups there at the bottom of the deck. It's a heartfelt message. I could tell you that much. Do I want this deck? Hold on. Okay, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to take it. Hmm, why do I want... Okay, this one. When in doubt, I go with my favorite deck. Okay, tell me more about Gemini's person. Can we get some insight, please, Spirit, into this person that Gemini is dealing with? What do we need to know about them? What are their energies at this time? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is dealing with spirit? The moon, Pisces energy. What do we need to know about this person? <laughs> Eight of swords. <laughs> Tell me more. I feel for this person. Yeah, this person's debating whether to even approach you. Um, they see it going either way. Either you talk to them and they are successful in communicating with you, or you shut the door in their face. They see both possibilities. Um, I feel like they're overthinking this, fearful, um, because they're not sure. And I feel like this is also a running, like a common theme that I get with my Gemini readings, especially recently. It's like this person doesn't know if you'll reject them or how you feel because there might not be uh, a lot going on in this connection at this time. Tell me about the moon. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Tell me about the moon. Yeah, two of swords, nine of swords, like they're really in their head. They're undecided, unsure, really stressed about this, or at least thinking a lot about how to do this, if this is even a good idea. I see this person talking themselves out of this constantly. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. <laughs> the Magician, the Nine of Cups, and the Sun. I mean, could that be any clearer? It's, it's funny because they want to do this so badly. You know, they want this so badly. This is someone that's willing to do whatever it takes, you know, this would make them super happy, but they're stuck, they're fearful, they're paralyzed, they're, it's not enough. The want is not enough to overcome this, this fear. Tell me about the two of wands. And that's why I feel like this person might approach you in a very like roundabout way right like rather than say i love you gemini <laughs> as like the first thing they say it's almost going to be like congratulations on such and such or um hey i noticed that you went traveling to such and such place um you know what i mean like something very like an icebreaker tell me about this two of wands Oops. Tell me about the two of wands. Yeah, this is a, them debating about coming forward. There's a cherry again. Cancer energy. It's almost like they're deciding whether they should stop by or they should approach. You know, tell me about the two of wands. Yeah, this person definitely wants to rebalance whatever it is that you have with them. The star, bottom of the deck. 
Aquarius energy. So it's almost like healing, rebalancing, making things right with justice. I see it all here. Um, so, I mean, I feel for this person because I do see that it could go either way, Gemini. Would you be uh, willing to hear this person out? Um, someone that feels like they should be. I mean, you're only afraid to contact someone if something went wrong, right? Or if the situation, you know, wasn't the best. It didn't end on the best terms, etc. Um, so let's see. Where is all of this headed? What's next for this connection? So I'm going to pull a couple cards here. Spirit, what's next for this connection between Gemini and this person? Wow, Nine of Cups. Wishing well. A wish granted, for sure. But now I'm wondering, is it your wish or theirs? <laughs> Maybe it's both. What's next for this connection? Knight of Swords, yeah. Someone's communicating. I feel like this person um, is just going to kind of say, like, F it. Send the text, right? One more, please. One more for what's next here. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that has um, held back or held on to this despite the no contact. And I recently had a reading for Gemini's um, about, and it, it says no contact in the title. So check your playlist, Gemini. It's linked in the description box for that reading if this resonated for you because I'm getting similar energy. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. So definitely, it's like someone has held back or this could be you holding back when this person, you know, sends you this message or communicates with you unexpectedly especially especially because the knight of swords is a card that's like very quick it's like a quick text a dm something like that but i feel like one of you at least one of you is going to be happy or this is one of your wishes fulfilled either your wish or their wish fulfilled let me know in the comments um would this be your wish fulfilled because i'm just curious um, so that's what I have for you, Gemini. I'll leave it here. If you enjoyed the reading, if it resonated for you, if you want to see more readings from me, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Let me know in the comments too if this resonated for you, if you feel like sharing or just saying hello. I would love that. And I will see you on another video very soon.